maid, have you seen my maids? Tell me when the boys get here at seven o'clock and I want to rock. Want to get a belly full of beer. <laughs> What's happening, everyone? And welcome back. As always, I hope you guys are doing well out there. And I thought today we'd do something kind of fun. And uh, that is go through all the gear that I use for my acoustic performances. We're going to start off with the guitars that I use and uh, into the pedal board, go through the full signal chain, into the PA system and speakers, all the stuff that I'm using. And then again with the microphone, what mic I'm using, into the pedal board, PA speakers. I'm going to talk about everything, my tip jar and my little table that I set up. And I'm actually going to do a full mock setup in the spare bedroom and show you guys a completed setup when I'm done. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be a good one. Well, all right, we're already sitting here with guitar in hand, so let's start off right here. And I always bring two guitars to every acoustic gig that I play. Uh, no matter how small or large, it's extremely important to me that I do not change strings in front of people. So I might not ever grab that backup guitar, man, but it's there. So for this mock gig that we're setting up for, I'm going to choose my Taylor 414 CE. I've had this guitar for over 20 years. It plays and sounds fantastic, and uh, it's just part of me, man. I love this guitar a lot. And for guitar number two, for this mock gig that we're setting up for, I'm going to be bringing my Taylor GS Mini in Koa. Just a fantastic little guitar, and it sounds much bigger than it is, and I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the pedal board. All right, you guys, so here's the pedal board that I'm currently using. Um, the guitar signal goes into a new X preamp here. Nothing too fancy, but uh, gives me a little bit of reverb, a little bit of chorus, and of course a DI out so I can run an XLR into my PA system. And uh, most importantly is it does have an effects loop. So in that effects loop, I have some EQ. I run a little tiny bit of delay just to kind of thicken up the tone a little bit. And uh, I am running this Joyo compressor. And I got to say, I've tried a bunch of different compressors for an acoustic signal. And uh, a lot of them are just too much. This one is really good for an acoustic setup. I highly recommend it. And uh, from there, we're going into a Boss Loop Station. And I'm not much of a looper guy, but if I want to play around a little bit, it is there. And uh, that's it for the guitar signal, but since we're on the board here, um, talk about these other guys here. I do have a Beat Buddy. I haven't incorporated it live yet, but uh, there's the foot controller for it. And uh, that thing is a blast, absolutely fun. It's a little expensive, but the Beat Buddy's kind of cool. And for this guy right here, this is a TC Helicon duplicator. And uh, I don't use the duplicator function, but I do run my microphone into there before I go into the PA system. It gives you a little bit of compression, some EQ, kind of sweetens up the sound a little bit. And I actually use a little bit of reverb right before I go into the PA system. So that's it for the pedal board. Let's talk about the microphone and then uh, we'll go into the PA system and speakers and uh, see, take it from there. All right, well, check this out, you guys. I went ahead and set up everything as if I was playing a gig. So that's table, tip jar, business cards, music stand. That's the whole shot right there. And uh, man, you can never place too much emphasis on the small stuff. Having a nice little table, a nice tip jar, decent business cards, and uh, you really want to present as professional as possible. So there's my live rig. And uh, let's get into breaking down some of these other components. So for microphones, we're going with a Shure Beta 58. And uh, I saw a really in-depth comparison of a regular SM58 and a Beta 58 some years ago. And uh, the Beta 58 just really came out on top and I had a couple extra bucks at the time, so why not? I popped on the Beta 58, super happy with it. And uh, if it ever failed, I would definitely get another one. Well, here's a quick look at the PA, you guys. I'm going through a Behringer PMP and uh, it's rated at 500 watts. I don't know about that, but it does the job really well. And most importantly, it's cost effective. It sits on a mic stand right next to me so I can make changes on the fly. And uh, played several gigs with it. I'm super happy with it. From the PA system, I'm going to be running into a couple old Harbinger speakers, 12-inch uh, cabinets that I've had for quite some time. And uh, I tell you what, there's smaller options. You know, you can run these other amps that you can plug your vocals and everything else into but i can get a big full sound at a relatively low volume with this setup i'm really happy with it and uh yeah i'd love to have all top of the line mackie stuff but i tell you what on a budget it's not a bad system at all 
Well, all right, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me and letting me share with you the gear that I use for my live acoustic performances. And uh, I got to be honest with you, I tried to get some sound samples. I had microphones here and there. I was trying to mic the PA cabs and it just wasn't happening. So I do apologize for that. But one thing that I forgot to share with you guys is this, and it's just as important as any other piece of the, of the gear that I use. And that's backup cables. You gotta have a backup speaker cable, a backup XLR cable, and a backup instrument cable. I had a cable go down on me two gigs ago. I was able to swap it out on the fly. So anyways, you guys, as always, be love, be light, be a good person. And if you dig what you're seeing on this channel and you wanna see a little bit more, make sure to shoot me a comment, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. Thank you in advance for that. And we'll see you next time in the next video that I do. I'm going to be breaking down how I play Saturday Night's All Right by Elton John. You're not going to want to miss that one. So anyways, we'll catch you next time, you guys. See ya.